Hello everyone, welcome back to the Model Frontier. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss a second of any of my great content. So today I've decided to step out onto the Palm Court just to sit and talk with you guys about today's topic. Um, I got so many views on the first stage of my build, which thank you all for that. Um, so I figured I would give you a whole video dedicated to the various upgrade kits you might consider to make this model shine. There are a lot of different options for upgrading this model out there, and they all offer something unique, and they all cost, you know, different amounts. Um, they also all have differing skill levels, so hopefully this video can give you an idea as to what will work best for you on your build. So there was a lot of comments from my first video about an issue that I really didn't cover on that video, but I'm going to cover it right now real quick before we get much further into this model. Almost all of these upgrade options that I'm about to share with you include some form of a wooden deck. Um, when you get these decks, you don't just want to go putting them right on the ship. You want to spray them with a some kind of a finishing spray before you do so. That way you're going to protect your ship from damage and seal it from, you know, getting liquid on it or so anything like that. Which is, which will come in handy because if you drip something onto this deck, you have a little bit of an opportunity to clean it off before you, before you do. Before you, you know, can't do it anymore. So what I use is this. Um, it's a matte finish spray. It's just a clear, it's basically a clear coat. You can pick this up at any local store, at any Walmart. It's not that expensive. Just, um, a lot, you can do it any way you want. Just basically you want to hang your wooden deck and just give it a couple of sprays real quick. Just get a couple good coats on there and you'll be fine. So with that out of the way, we're now going to be taking a look at four major options for this. There's Scale Decks, China 3D Prints, Pontos, and the upgrade set that I will be using, the KA or MK1 set. This is going to be a very tricky video for me because I do have the KA set. Um, the other sets are very difficult to find and I don't personally have them to go into detail with you on. Um, as far as difficulty to find, either they're out of stock, you need to wait for the parts to get manufactured. Um, upgrade kits are not, these upgrade kits, they're not like just going onto Amazon and boom, you get it next day shipping. I'm going to try my best to provide links to all the items that I'm talking about in the description below. Um, but depending on when you watch this video, you may or may not have success with those links if you don't I do apologize um I will just say Google will be your best friend in this matter one other thing anytime I mention the cost of these upgrade kits I'm talking in US dollars um I'm personally located in the United States so all my prices will be in US dollars if you're not in my country if you're not in the USA um, I will include a, in the description a link to a currency converter that you can use to change to the currency to whatever you're using where you're at. So with that said, let's begin with the most basic option first. And we're going to talk about scale decks. Now this set is going to run you around $129 and in my opinion for what it is, it's well worth that. This is an option for those who only want to get their ship a more detailed wooden deck. Um, you may be happy, some people might be just happy with the, you know, wooden decks that come with the kit, and you know what, that's fine. It's your model, you do what you want to do with it. However, the kit decking does have a few flaws with it. For one thing, the wood is not the right color. Um, Titanic's decks, the actual deck of the Titanic, was made of a pitch pine, which is a very light wood. Um, the deck that comes with the kit appears to be closer to 
a cherry wood or some other kind of a dark wood. Also, not a lot of people know this, but the deck, at least in the forecastle, actually had two different types of wood with that are differing widths. Especially in the area in front in the front where you know you have your anchor chains and everything, where you will have your anchor chains. Um, you can see in this picture here, um, those planks were made out of a thicker teak wood. Now, the decking we get with the kit is just one size planking throughout the entire deck. Um, these details are addressed in all the decks that we're going to be taking a look at. And scale decks is the cheapest of the options because, well, again, all, it is just the decking. Another good thing about scale decks that not a lot of models have is it gives you two options for your model. One's called the kit option and the other's the high detail option. One thing to note though, when this when this upgrade kit refers to the kit option, they're referring to the trumpeter model, which I will introduce in my next video and give you a little bit of a background on that. Um, so in all likelihood, if you're gonna get scale decks, you're going to wanna go with the high detail set. There is one advantage that that gives you though. If you do mess something up and you need to fix it, it's not going to be as devastating if, as any of the other options we're going with because you can just use a section from the kit decking to fix your mistakes. Still though, I would advise you not to count on that and just be, be as careful as you can all the same. Now another thing you're going to need to know if you go for this option is obviously you intend to use the kit parts on your deck. If that's the case, you're going to need to drill out all of the holes for the parts, for the kit parts to fit into them. If you're doing that, I recommend going drilling from the top down as opposed to the bottom up. Um, for obvious reasons. Also, don't just go grabbing the first drill bit that you have that fits the holes and just go drilling in. Um, just like with the windows I mentioned in my last video, you can always make the holes wider, but you can never make them smaller. Um, now this deck is in high demand, so finding it is not going to be easy. But at $129, if all you're looking to do is give your ship a more accurate deck, it's definitely worth hunting down. Now this next option is if you go with the scale decks or just are happy with the kit decking but you're, either way you're not happy with the parts that come with it this one is China 3d prints now this is a special Facebook group that offers a plethora of high quality resin parts what makes this unique is unlike the other two kits we're gonna take a look at um, this is more of an a la carte option it gives you the ability to buy only the parts you want for your ship and not have anything else you might not want at all. And these are really great parts. They're highly detailed, almost to the point that they match the kind of detail you get in the photo etch parts on other kits. And they're made of a high quality resin. So they're a little more durable than photo etch parts as long as you're careful when you remove them from their sprues. So this is a perfect option for those who want all the details without having the expertise to really mess with the delicate photo etch parts. Now as I mentioned, this is a Facebook group. It's not an official website, so there are some things you're going to have to square yourself with being okay with. First of all, these parts do come from China, so depending on where you are in the world, there it may take you a while between when you put in when you pay for your order and when you get your parts. They also use PayPal for their payments, so you're gonna have to be okay with using PayPal system to pay for it and you know all the buyer protections and security that they offer. 
that said, this group is run by some of the most amazing people. Um, they're really great to work with. Um, some of them have even contributed to upgrade kits that we're going to take a look at in just a minute here. Um, basically, these are people you definitely can trust. And if you're even in the slightest bit of doubt of your order, they do answer any and all D DMs that you send to them. So they never leave you in a lurch. Um, I have used them, they are very excellent, and I can definitely vouch for them 100%. So even if you do go with the scale decks for your decking and some selections from this Facebook group, you very likely can still spend much less than what our next two options are. Speaking of those next two options, these are more of the premium upgrades. Now they both offer different things for them, but there's one thing both of them give you. Very high levels of detail. Because as we all know, it's the little details that take a model from being just good to being great. Um, these are things you may never have even thought of, but if they weren't there, you might notice, especially if you're as much a freak for the Titanic as I am. And that's what, you know, these next sets offer in spades. First, we're going to talk about the Pontos set. Now, as I mentioned, this set will give you a wooden deck as well. But what really sets this kit apart, it's all photo etched and metal parts beyond that. Photo etch parts, for those who don't know yet, are very are able to give you a very high level of detail. They're also cast in bronze, so they're pretty much they're pretty durable, but they're usually very thin, which makes them very delicate and fragile. So because of that, you don't have the same margin of error you may get with resin parts. One cool detail about this kit, though, is you get real metal propellers. And this is something you can only get from either Pontos or from China 3D, again, if it's available at that moment. The photo etch parts, however, can be very intimidating, especially if you're not used to working with them. Remember, this is a 1-200 scale model, so while some parts are going to be pretty big, a lot of them are going to be extremely tiny and several of these parts will require you to actually build them up. Uh, you may use five or six different photo etch pieces from this kit just to make one deck detail. And if mishandled, these tiny parts, I can assure you, they will go flying off in all directions and can easily get lost. Um, as far as the cost of this set goes, this set, the Pontos kit, is going to run you at least $300. But consider for a moment, before that throws you off, you are also getting the wooden deck with it. Just like you would if you spent $129 on the Scale Decks kit. So, realistically, you're only paying about $121 more for some of the highest detailed parts you're very you're likely to ever find. Now to help you decide if this is something you'd be interested in trying to do before you go spending your money on it, I'd recommend you check out this video from the Midwest Model Shop. I'll put a link both in the description below and in a card up here which you should have seen or you will be seeing right now. Um, this specific video goes into the detail of just making the winches that you've put on the front of the ship already. Um, so that'll give you a pretty good idea of what you're getting into. Now, if you go the Pontos route, you may also, I would also highly recommend you get yourself some tools to go with to help you with this because, because of how photo etch parts are package a, to get them to go 3d basically because they're all on flat sheets and you know laser cut and printed out like that you're gonna have to fold some of these 
and folding these can definitely be tricky because again they're so delicate some of these parts you may only get one or two chances to get them right before you risk breaking them which can really be a bad scene if you do so one tool I definitely recommend is this this is called the bug hold and fold and it's from a website called the small shop this is an invaluable tool for bending photo etch parts effectively basically you would put your photo etch part in here clamp it down and then use some kind of a razor like they give you a razor blade to use but you can use any thin blade to kind of get under the part and push it up to get it at the angles you need um, and because they give you so many different options as to you know different things you could need it for um, there's really no there's really nothing that this thing can't fold for you you should probably also get yourself a good set of duckbill pliers. Um, while this will work pretty well, obviously it's not going to be able to be used for absolutely everything. Some of the pieces you get might be bigger than this can handle. Um, that's where duckbill pliers will come in. It's the same principle as this, um, but it allows you to work with the bigger pieces of photo etch you might get. I would also highly recommend you get yourself a pair of goggle of glasses or goggles like these um, because you're working with photo etch you're going to need to you know be able to see what you're doing and these really come in handy when you're doing all that so I highly recommend getting that these things again I'll put a link to all these tools in the description below so that you have you can get them if you think you need them um, painting photo etch parts is a different matter altogether. I was going to go into some detail about that, but I don't want this video to get too bogged down in that kind of details right now. I will do a separate video on how to paint photo etch parts and all the tools I use for that later on and all the things I use for that later on in the build. So stay tuned for that because I want to get back to actually talking about the upgrade kits for this model here now we're gonna get on to what I consider to be the best upgrade kit it's called the ka set or the M you might hear it referred to as the mk1 um, to me this is the best because it offers everything it offers you the best of everything you get wooden decking you get some photo etch parts and you get the high quality resin parts uh, this is a perfect kit for the novice modeler or maybe the intermediate modeler whereas the Pontos kit is more for the experienced modeler um, if you're just looking to add some high quality details to your model. Now unlike the other sets I've mentioned, I've actually bought this one and done a video reviewing it. So let's go and take a closer look at that. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the KA or MK1 um, upgrade kit. Um, this is typically for the Trumpeter 1200 scale model, but since this model is the same size, a lot of these parts should definitely work for it. Uh, first, we're gonna, first thing we get is obviously uh, you get instructions. This shows how all the different parts, how they get put together, what you you know what you can do with them um, basically where how they all get how all these get put together where they go on on different parts of the ship um, obviously these instructions are gonna be helpful but not a hundred percent because obviously our um, our pieces are gonna be slightly different for the most part but we'll uh, we'll use what we can and we'll see what we can do. Um, it's very detailed. It's very good instructions on how to do this. So that's the first thing we get with this. The first thing we're going to take a look at is when you open your box, um, you've got three 
bits of Tupperware. Um, these all have different parts in them, so I'm just gonna go over them and we're gonna see what's in uh, what's in each. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one here. Um, from the looks of it, we got some chains, some you know small anchor chains, and looks like some assorted. You know, parts here, the propellers, definitely. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let me take it out of the bag. Again, just trying to show you in the light some light here. Oh, we got some different parts, mainly propeller. Um, this is a triple bladed central propeller. Um, I'll get in more of that later. It looks like just some assorted mechanical parts. Um, tough to tell, but I'm thinking davits maybe. I don't know. I'm guessing. That's all that's in this one. In this next one, we got some of the lifeboat. We got most of the lifeboats there. Um, we got some looks like cargo hatches. Few more lifeboats and a different rudder. And then we got some brass pieces. Looks like we got some capstans, some different size um, circular pieces. Lots of these uh, tiny details. I mean, you can see some of these are really, really tiny. Um, looks like we got a small bell on this section here and we got more you know these some of these pieces look like they belong on jewelry not a model and we got some uh, masts and you know parts to make the mast again these are metal so durable have some fun putting those into place if we need them. And this last Tupperware, now we've got this looks like it's got a couple of lifeboats in it, some. Uh, I don't know what these things are called, but the vents looks like more decking, more uh, deck pieces, some winches and stuff, and our 200 scale people that we can put onto the ship. So it'll have this this sense of life and people actually being on it, as opposed to just being a static model, which is always. You know, the more life you can put into it, the better. Um, these are all plastic and resin, so, you know, very durable, very good. we got here are photo etched parts. Uh, you can see we got quite a bit of photo etching. Um, I'm not even going to hazard a guess as to what half of this stuff is. I mean I can tell what a few things are like um, there is the, um, I can't really, sh I don't know if you can see it but that's the breakwaters that go on the bow of the ship. Uh, we got some thin 
wires there. We got some, uh, we got some signage. We got some, uh, clear, looks like stickers or window, uh, stuff for the glass to make it look like, you know, actual glass. Uh, lots of small details here. Well, it's all photo etched, so very fragile, very, um, very delicate, so we're not going to mess too much with it. But, you get all kinds of this stuff in this build. So quite a lot of uh, photo etching in this build here. And then lastly, we've got our wooden decking. Um, I'm going to pull a piece out here. So you can see right here, this is for the forecastle. Um, it's all real feel wood. Um, it does have some parts where you can, you know, punch out holes. I mean, you definitely feel areas that can be punched out. Um, some of these I definitely will be taking out, others we're going to leave it as is. Obviously it's got a sticky backing, um, but we're going to definitely make sure that this doesn't come up. It feels really nice and looks highly, yeah, it looks very highly detailed, very nice. It's going to really make the, uh, the deck pop, and again we got all sorts of them, like you got you see we got stern sections and we've got obviously we're gonna have the boat deck and we're gonna have all sorts of little you know sections here so and obviously you know because this kit the trumpeter kit normally and because the trumpeter kit normally doesn't come normally has the uh, cargo hatch built into the plastic obviously this one does not so um, you can obviously see that the cargo hatch here uh, is gonna sit kinda like that yeah so you're gonna end up with something like that going on I gotta say, it looks nice and it feels really, really true to life and detailed and I think it's going to look amazing. So what are my recommendations for you um, to wrap this video up? If all you're looking to do is just give your decking an upgrade, there's no question where you want to go, you want to go with the scale decks option. Um, that's just because if all you're looking at doing is deck options, you're, you're not going to need the extra parts that you get with either the Pontos or the KA set. So there's no point in spending the extra, you know, over $100 for parts you're not going to use. Plus, you know, if you do decide later on that you want to get some parts to upgrade your build, um, you, do a, get, you do have the China 3D group you can lean on to do that. Uh, to get the highest level of detail while also being willing to put in extra work, go with the Ponto set. Um, you're just not going to be, be able to beat the level of detail you're going to get in all the photo etch parts included in this kit. But keep in mind, like I said, since it is all photo etch parts, this is designed for the expert modeler, not the 
novice or intermediate modeler at all. Uh, to get the most bang for your buck, you want to get the KA set. Just based on all the parts you get from it out of the box, it's worth the it's worth its cost. Um, it's not even that much more expensive than the Pontos kit, but in my opinion, you seem to get a lot more out of this. Um, they're also very highly detailed, so you're not missing out on anything that way. And as an added bonus. It's just easier to get a hold of this set. Now naturally I didn't go over all the options up out there. There's a bunch of different options for upgrading these kits. Um, there's lots of people out there making parts for the Trumpeter Titanic kit, which will work well for this. Um, one I didn't mention is Woody's Model Works. Um, they have all kinds of little of upgrade details. Um, especially for later on, which is why I didn't mention it now, but for later on when we get into, like, the A-deck promenades and stuff, they have stuff that goes on the roof to give you the beams and things like that. So watch out for that when we get to that point. I'll go into more detail about Woody's model works at that point. Um, sky's really the limit, especially if you go, if you want to get yourself a 3D printer and actually print some of your own parts. Um, there's, again, a lot of options out there for you. Um, I can't possibly go into detail over every option, or we're going to be here for the next month. Um, this was just mainly to give you an idea of the types of upgrades that exist out there that you might consider for your model. Thanks so much for watching this, though. I hope it was informative. I hope it's helped you come to a decision for your model. And I will see you next time on the model frontier.